Elliot here from Bear Pit TV bringing you some news, some big news. Uh, the Sky Sports have gone absolutely mental uh, and bringing, been telling us news that we're going to sign someone. We're going to actually sign someone. First off, Bruno Martins in, he's going to have a Stoke Medical today when this video goes out uh, and believed to be a fee that's could rise to 13 million. Uh, a bit strange after we you know, chose not to exercise the option uh, for 12 or whatever million, 20, 10 million. Uh, and then tried to go with an 8 million bid and now we've got it back up to 13 but who cares I think Bruno was uh, crucial for us at the back last season and I could not be more delighted uh, that he's going to become a potter he's apparently going to have this medical Sky Sports broke the news and I'm, from what I can see from Stoke fans on Twitter on Facebook everyone's absolutely ecstatic absolutely ecstatic and over the moon with this one we wanted Bruno on a permanent for a long long time uh, ever since he came in and studied it, studied it up at the back on from the initial loan at Porto and he has obviously been back to Porto training with them recently and we've all seen the pictures of him in Porto training kit and I hurt a little but now it seems that he's going to be a potter and they're going to get wrapped up and hopefully they can go out and join the boys on the pre-season game against Monaco uh, at the weekend if they can get it done that soon obviously the squad's already announced for the Euro Cup and I don't think it'll be done that soon but you know Monaco you can face Monaco Scare and bap. Then next, next up, Kurt Zuma is going to have uh, talks with Stoke and West Brom uh, within the next four or eight hours to try and establish if he wants to go there on a loan deal. So not only have we apparently signed Bruno, also interested in getting Kurt Zuma. So it shows that we're trying to try and bolster our back line. It'd be really interesting to see if uh, Mark Hughes wants to go with three at the back next season. And imagine those three in the back three: Zuma, Shawcross, Bruno. That'll be quite the defence. But yeah, Kurt Zuma is going to have talks with ourselves on West Brom. was against Tony Pulis to see where he wants to go on loan for the season. Again, this was reported by Sky Sports. And again, everyone over the moon at this. Everyone over the moon that we could potentially get a loan deal for Kurt Zuma from Chelsea. You obviously had that horrific injury uh, last season, which kept him out for the majority of it, where his sort of leg hyperextended the wrong way. But he's over that now. I think he came and played a few games towards the back end of the season and you know from the title on his side so hopefully Kurt Zuma could also become a Stoke City player that has been a little transfer catch up for you do let me know your thoughts on both of those potential signings one almost done uh, signing in the comments below like comment subscribe share wherever you are thank you for watching